Have you ever wondered why do snowplows sometimes drop salt and other times drop sand? It's a good question. Yeah, and when you ask a good question, we give it to Matt Gephardt, who on Fridays tries to give us a good answer. And this question came from Jason, and he noticed just that these plows, sometimes they're dropping sand, sometimes they're dropping salt, and as they've been out in force this year, he's really noticed, especially this last week, it seemed to be sand. And he wants to know why there is a difference. Let's see. This winter has brought it all. Record snowfall, record colds, record setting smog. And now frozen rain can be added to that list. A rare phenomenon that coated the entire Wasatch front in a thin layer of ice which led to hundreds of accidents. Really unusual. John Gleason with the Utah Department of Transportation says it has been all they can do just to keep up. This is not typical Utah weather. UDOT is charged with keeping the state roadways clear and they have hundreds of these massive snow plows to get that job done. The plows equipped with giant blades that push the snow aside and big bins that dump tons of salt behind. But it is not always salt. Sometimes they drop sand. So why the difference? It's a good question. At a certain point, salt becomes less effective. The function of salt is to warm up the road. That way, when the snow falls, it won't stick to the road. But when the temperatures drop below about 20 degrees, the salt can't keep the roads warm enough. So on those days, UDOT will lay down sand to assist. And that helps create traction so drivers don't just slide off the road. Ann Gleason says there is another reason that UDOT avoids sand except in extreme conditions. When the snow melts, that sand will turn into dust. And to avoid added pollution, state law says that any sand that has been dropped has to be cleaned up within three days. It says right in the law, you guys have to go out and sweep it up. Yeah. Isn't that more of a pain? Well, it's, it's definitely more costly, and so that's why, unless it's an emergency situation, we would tend to avoid that. Yeah, and UDOT tells me that law does not just apply to them. If you put sand or grit down on the sidewalks around your house to keep from slipping and sliding, legally, you are supposed to sweep it up after three days. But now we know why we use sand instead of salt sometimes. Thank you, Jason, for the good question. If you have one, you can find me on KUTV.com. It's all about the cost. It's all about the temperature. <laughs> and, yeah, and, the cost. and money. Mm -hmm. All right, Matt, thanks.